Thank you, President, Commissioner and colleagues. The struggle for human rights has moved online. The availability of Internet and new technologies has helped people to access information, to freely express themselves, to assemble and to document human rights abuses, which can then be shared with the rest of the world. And governments that seek to retain control are afraid of empowered populations highlighting corruption, injustice and speaking out for justice, freedom and opportunities. The Vietnamese government is no exception. They've imprisoned bloggers, democracy activists with outrageously high prison sentences. On top of the consequences for individual dissidents and human rights defenders, a new decree on internet management would legalize content filtering, censorship and sanctions by the government against vaguely described prohibited acts which would oblige internet companies and providers, including foreign ones, to cooperate with the government in the surveillance and tracking of cyber dissidents. Now, as the EU is also in the process of working on a free trade agreement with Vietnam, it is essential that European companies who may seek to do business and to create jobs in Vietnam will not be met with surveillance and censorship and are not forced to perform these acts either. These practices do not only impact human rights, but also the opportunity to do business. And they must end, and the EU strongly conveys this message today to the Vietnamese authorities. Thank you.